proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Halang the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement, to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? you say? Your kind is too timid to even speak to us, and now you're trying to kill us. I do not understand it. However, your honesty is appreciated. Tell the people of Gorhart that they have nothing to fear from us. We mean them no ill will, as long as they leave the forest undisturbed as they found it. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the Teddy. I am known as the Squire. It is my duty to assist the Chancellor of the House of Ballads in all of his many endeavors. Hallam treats me well, and it is an honor to serve. The mortals in Gorhart believe they have established a permanent settlement, but they are sadly mistaken. Those homes will crumble. Those graves will multiply. Trees may be cut down, vines stripped away, but the forest will return, and it will not suffer the footsteps of men. Neither will the Fae. The storyteller leads us all in the telling of the great songs of the Summer Court. He administers our house and serves our great knights in the Court of Enchantments. Only the greatest heroes of the Summer may be counted among the Court of Enchantments. Gwenson, Belmaid, Ferrara, Olaine, Eirmer, and Kreth. Their glory unites all Fae in a common narrative. It is one of the few things our people share. The House of Ballads is home to the Court of Enchantments, where our heroes congregate and train before performing the feats that made them legends. There are three main structures on the grounds. The Court of Enchantments itself features the Wall of Saga, which depicts the most noteworthy songs in our canon. The Hall of Accolades is where the finest vague crafters offer their services. Trainers can be found in the Summer Sanctuary, where we go in seeking enlightenment. He was one of our most beloved knights, a balanced treasure. I can't bear to think of him dead, now across the sea a warrior for our savage cousins in the Winter Court. I did not fear them in previous seasons. They were our allies, as important to us as the autumn is to spring. But the Tuatha have upset the balance. This new breed of mad fae has seized the Court of Winter in its grip. There can only be a summer and a winter. There is no other third order if we crave balance. Farewell. Listen, all of you. As you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Balance. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Mundane don't belong so Sagril in has houses. fallen. Sagril. Slayer of Ozigan, defender of the crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks 
of the greatest champions in fay-telling, Olain, Kreth, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. <laughs> This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. We are the collectors of tales. The warriors of lore, the most respected of all summer court heroes. Our deeds are known across the Fey lands. Our great knights, Wenson the Bold, Ermer the Pure, Olain the Kind, are destined to repeat their quests for all eternity that no Fey may ever forget. They remind us of who we are and what we've done, of our greatest achievements and our deepest losses. The house ensures those defining tales are never forgotten. Sir Sagril, Slayer of Volzigan, Lord of the Morning Mists, and Defender of the Crown of Haxi, was one of our most beloved knights. His tales have endured for generations. Several days ago, he departed to do battle with the Grave Thresh, his most famous and legendary foe. But there was an event, a twist in the story. In this telling, it was the Thresh that bested Sagril. Such an outcome has never happened. I don't know what to make of it. You are bold. But that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. It is a popular tale, featuring the Summer Court's most treasured rogue. One afternoon, Sagril, his head sleepy with wine and dreams of women, awoke to a terrible roar. The treacherous maid of Windermere, villain of the House of Ballads, was summoning forth a beast from beneath the earth. She wished to send it against Wenson himself. When the maid departed, Sagril tread into the beast's lure and killed it, only to realize that it was simply the first of many deadlier enemies. What a song! The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house, in the hollow of Gargoth. In the evenings after dark, you can hear its disturbed slumber. The cries are unsettling. We are the soldiers of summer, the guardians of the light of spring. When our cousins in the winter court celebrate the darkening of the skies, we revel in the dawn. However, our cycle is changing. Everyone has noticed the fires on the sea, the monsters in the east, and the whispers on the lips. The summer court is in decline. For many seasons, the court of winter ruled alongside us as allies. There is no spring without the cool decay of autumn, no bright summer without the snow. Yet, even as our power wanes, theirs 
is mysteriously on the rise. Surely, you have felt it. I am Hallam the White, seeker of the Stone of Val, Baron of the Drowned Forest, Slayer of Argoth the Mighty, and Chamberlain to the House of Ballads. Many in the House of Ballads call me the Storyteller, for I watch over the Summer Court's anthology of experience. Go now, the young race and is make the curious. song your own. Greetings. Hello, mortal. A mortal here? <laughs> Welcome, Ageless One. I am Arvia, 
But I suspect you know that already. The tides of fate have washed me upon your shore, and I am here to do your bidding. I am but a tool of the destinies, a mouthpiece for their changing voices. I do not know how I know what I know. It has been that way since I first stepped from my hollow. You act as though we're strangers, but that's not true, is it? In many a dream you've come to me. Even in death you've brushed my consciousness. I am here for you, to guide you in a careful separation of the threads of fate, and to ease you into a more appropriate plane. Lord Issa had great faith in Wenson, and his instincts have proven true. But all kingdoms fall, and all kings fall with them. There is no clear victory for the House of Ballads. I see nothing. Only you. Yes, it's true. She exists, skirting the edges of my consciousness. But I am unaware of her intentions. That is more troubling than anything else. Until we meet again. Why is there a mortal here? Let me take a look at you. Ooh, very fair you are. Too fair for the House of Ballads, that is certain. I tend to enjoy the company of mortals. So fleshy. I'm Ilova, instructor in the persuasive arts. That includes seduction, but you probably guessed that. I was brought here by Ferrara himself. Forbidden love can lead you in the strangest of directions. Here I am at the House of Ballads, and I won't even hold a sword. Care to be my squire? Intense relationships they are. Very intense. Many moonlit evenings are expected. The ballads sing of her as a winter court witch, and that she wishes to wither the summer. Me, I believe her affections for Wenson are quite real. I've met him, I know. I can make almost anyone do almost anything. Don't believe me? Ask one of my many admirers. I'm willing to make you privy to my secrets. For a price. Until Greetings. next time, looking forward to it.
Brash dustling. You have no role in fay telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some whelp fresh from the cradle. First that strange maiden, now this. What is it you want here in Gorgoath? Alas, Agnel's is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. You may stay, but the seat will never be filled by a mortal. Of that I am certain. We were too late to catch the thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. But all is not lost. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come, I'll keep the thresh occupied while you seek out the heart vines. When you stand before the knights of the Court of Enchantments, you bask in the glory of all Fae. While all of our kind play a role in the grand telling, it is the feats of a legendary few that bear remembering. These knights lead the House of Ballads. The Thresh slumbers in its lair, a protective shell formed of vines of the hollow. We must weaken the nest, keep new shoots from taking root. I am Phicon, speaker of renown the world over. I've claimed many ballads, but none so important as those sung by the Court of Enchantments. This is my third attempt at claiming a seat in the House of Ballads. Perhaps this telling will be the one. All Fae know of the storyteller. He is the caretaker of the telling and has been since the first spring began. There is no higher honour than to earn a noteworthy role in the telling. They make up the cornerstone of our shared experience. The House of Ballad's function is to ensure that the mightiest Fey heroes do not fade into obscurity, that they are always with us in the present. She approached each of us who is vying for an empty seat in the House of Ballads, sometimes in the forest, sometimes in the plains. Each time she offered reward beyond our imagining. All she asked in return was that we infiltrate the house as her agent. Needless to say, none accepted. Call it history or the past. Each life tells a tale. But there is no yesterday, as there is no tomorrow. It is all today. One grand and vibrant telling. Our narrative continues to be spun. Even your presence here, while strange, is part of the changing picture. The beast and Gorgoath Hollow work together. Like lovers, the grave thresh emerges to feed and kill, to collect sustenance for itself and the hollow. When it returns to its lair, the thresh is embraced by Gorgoath, wrapped in a warm, living shell that protects it until the next time they hunger. Keep your eyes open. 